Hi, this is Tom Reardon, math teacher from Ohio. We've been asking the question, why ti inspire cx? Now let's ask, why pi? ti inspire cx, the handheld and the software are now in color. Notice the color on the screen there. Students ask, what is pi and why do we use it? Let's investigate. This is a TI Inspire activity that I created to explain why is there pi. The Greek letter pi, sometimes written pi, is a mathematical constant whose value is the ratio of any circle circumference, C in red, to its diameter, D in green. That is, pi is equal to C divided by D. Let's investigate. On the next page is a circle whose circumference is in red, its diameter is in green. The student will be asked to pull the red circle slowly to the right, press control then decimal point, and observe the ratio of C to D. So you can see here the circumference is about 5.19, the diameter is about 1.65, and the ratio of those two is about 3.14159 and so on. To put that into this table here, I'm going to go ahead and press control decimal point and you can see that the numbers were all copied into the places there and they're color coded. Now the student would be asked to grab the circle, make it a little bit bigger or smaller, press control decimal point. And as you can see, the circumference is about 12, the diameter is about 3.8 something, and the ratio hmm, seems to be stuck. So let's try it again. Pull it. Circumference diameter changed. Circumference and diameter changed. But it looks to me like the ratio seems to be the same number all the time. Hmm. It is clear from the previous investigation that the ratio of the circumference C to the diameter D is always that same number, something we call a constant, and that's what we call pi. And this is one representation for pi. So in textbooks, you'll see that pi is the ratio of the circumference of the diameter, which is about 3.14159. Since this does not terminate or repeat a pattern, this is called an irrational number. It can't be written as a, a fraction. Many people approximate pi with 3.14, so we celebrate Pi Day on March 14, 314. Also, one of the greatest mathematicians, Albert Einstein, was born on March 14th. And that makes Pi Day even more special. And there's a picture of Albert right there in my, on my handheld. And finally, one of my prized possessions is my pie pan. So how are you going to celebrate Pi Day this year?